Sir Lancelot is certainly the most famous of all King Arthur's knights. He was regarded as the most skillful and brave knight who ever existed. Lancelot was idolized by all other knights of the round table, given that no other knight could symbolize the ideal of medieval chivalry so perfectly as he did. The renowned knight is the son of King Ban of Benoic with Queen Elaine. His father's kingdom was in present-day France and what happened to be surrounded by enemies. In a quarrel against his rivals, his father perished at a time when Lancelot was just a baby. After his father's death, the Lady of the Lake emerged and took the little Lancelot from his mother's arms to be raised in the legendary Avalon. He was raised there by the fairies and received training in martial arts by the renowned knight Peleus. When the youngster turned 18, he appeared before King Arthur's court with the name of Lancelot Lake. On the Pentecost day, he was knighted, crossing paths with the woman who would become the love of his life. This was Queen Guinevere, wife of King Arthur. Lancelot was deeply loyal to his king, but was constantly tormented by the love felt for his queen. The knight wandered the world and conquered an unrivaled reputation after defeating the most dangerous villains and being the winner in duels against the bravest knights. His adventures spread his name all over the world, and his deeds were sung by bards in every corner. These songs inspired their listeners to find the path of virtue. The Lake Knight became the best among the round table, and so he was considered King Arthur's champion. The knight engaged in several duels to defend the honor of his king and his beloved queen. Lancelot was a chaste knight. His heart belonged to Lady Guinevere, and therefore, he did not get involved with any other woman. Taking advantage of that passion, King Pelus deceived Lancelot with magic tricks and lies. The knight ended up in the arms of the king's daughter, since, due to an act of magic, he believed that he was embracing Guinevere, his true love. His son Galahad was born from that union, who would one day surpass even his father as a knight. After finding the truth of his marriage, he abandoned his father-in-law's kingdom. When he returned to Camelot, the knight's love for his sovereign became irresistible and Lancelot and Guinevere started to meet each other in secrecy. With his soul tainted by the sin of adultery, Lancelot failed in his quest for the Holy Grail. The traitorous knight Mordred denounced Lancelot's betrayal and a major conflict erupted in Camelot's court. Lancelot traveled to his lands in France. Mordred, whose ambition was to undermine Arthur's kingdom, instigated the king to seek revenge. Mordred took advantage of a now unprotected kingdom and attempted to take the throne for himself. Arthur was forced to stop his campaign abroad and return to defend his throne. Lancelot set off to Arthur's kingdom to help him and attempt a reconciliation, but it was already too late. Arthur was killed in battle. The knight retreated to Glastonbury Abbey in order to cleanse his sins. In turn, Guinevere retreated to a convent. Lancelot had a melancholic death, plunging into a deep depression with the news of Guinevere's death. His name became a legend, and his bravery and abilities made him a knight role model.